Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Regular subscribers to my channel will know that I have been subscribing to Warhammer 40,000 Conquest, which is a Partworks magazine from Hatchet Partworks in association with Games Workshop. The way it works is that every week there is a magazine, it costs $7.99, and you get you get a magazine and you also get some games workshop products which may be um paints or miniatures or hobby accessories um i am subscribing which uh means i get four issues in a bundle once a month so rather than getting one a week i get them in groups of four today my postman has arrived with my latest bundle and here we are with issue seven so we're going to take a look at issue 7. Before we do, I also just wanted to very quickly show you something else that came with my bundle. Because I am a subscriber. Excuse me while I rustle off camera. Rustle, rustle, rustle. Look! Got a binder! Now, this is one of those things that you can, you can buy them from, uh, from the company. Uh, but you get one as a subscriber. It's one of the free gifts. Because the magazine is one of those magazines that doesn't have a proper spine because it's designed to be separated out and put in. You've got these things that, that separate into collecting, building, painting and playing. So those are the dividers. And then we've got this. Where I'm a 40,000 Conquest. The Binder. That's pretty neat. It's got the Imperius Dominatus. What's this here? The vast spread of the galaxy contains an estimated 400,000 million stars. And on the back... Bleh, bleh. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, I think when they start selling these, they'll probably sell them for about a tenner a pop. Because when I've done part works in the past, the branded... Uh, the branded binders are always super duper expensive and you are better off going down your local stationers and, and buying some for like a couple of quid. Anyway, that's not really what we're here to see. We're here to take a look at the magazine. And this is issue seven. This is the first issue that does not include any miniatures. Every other issue to date has had miniatures of some description. Last week's issue, um, you will know I was a bit disappointed in because it was um, a sprue of Easy Build Plague Marines, which was the same sprue of Easy Build Plague Marines that they had given away in an earlier issue. Um, and yeah, that was a bit of a disappointment. Um, the issue before that had been quite cool because it had been um, an exclusive, issue five that was, uh, where there was an exclusive Space Marine Lieutenant, which was cool. But anyway, the stuff they're giving away here is is uh, they're the shades. They're Null Noil and they're Agrax Earthshade. These are two of the most useful shades you will ever have in your collection, and it is well worth having them. Um, it's very clever of them to put them both together in an issue because they are they're super useful for absolutely everything, and they are liquid talent to a certain degree because as soon as you put them onto a model once you've applied some base colors to a model you slap these on and they immediately look a hundred times better i am sure in this magazine that will show some pictures that will actually um show just how good that th these are for doing that the actual retail price for them is four pounds 55 a pot so if you were to go into a games workshop store and buy these two pots you'd be paying nine pounds 10p uh, I believe nine pounds ten p. Um, obviously, this issue is seven ninety nine. So you're looking at, at a, a, a very minor bit of value. Value. It's um. Sorry, my stuff just fell over in the background. Um, you're as I don't know if that came up on 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 the speaker or not. Yeah, it's not it's not much in the way of value, is it? I mean, you're, you're looking at just over a pound in in savings. And if you shop online like I do, you can normally get 15 to 20 percent off your purchases anyway. So if you're going to put in an order that gets you free shipping and you, and you were to put these two pots of paints in, you could probably get them cheaper online. So this is in terms of um, savings against retail. Um, if this is I mean, one, one pound 11p isn't it um that's the worst margin so far for any of these issues other issues um have had some some pretty decent value um 
but yeah this is this is the lowest lowest value so far one pound 11p um, i'm sure you can make that up in in staff discount uh, in, in store discounts and um things like that but anyway the products are good the products are useful and there is still a very small amount of value um but there's going to be some issues that are better value than others and i have seen some of the upcoming issues and some of the value on those upcoming issues is absolutely insane so we'll we're, we're cutting some slack we're cutting some slack on this one let's have a quick look at the magazine the making of a space marine so we've got some background fluff about space marines and gene seed organs and some this is quite quite distressing imagery the realm of ultramar <laughs> the realm of ultramar again ultramarine successor chapters some cool stuff insignias and colors and different chapters Genesis chapter. Oh, look, and here we go. How to paint the shades. So, yeah, here we go. Before and after. This is, um, if you've been following week by week, um, as they give you new paints, they show you how to paint the miniatures you've got. So this is one of the easy build Death Guard Marines, painted to the point that you can get them to using only the paints that have come with Conquest Magazine. And then they're showing that just by applying a wash... I mean, just look at look how much better that looks. I mean, it's, it's suddenly got shading, it's got depth. Um, you know, it, it's a massive improvement. You can see things like, um, you see the chainmail here, it just looks like a blob of metal. But once you've given it a wash, the wash seeps into those uh, recesses on the chainmail armor, and it just starts to look like chainmail. It just looks so much better. And you can see on, on things like here, you can see where it's gone into the recesses, and it just created created the shading without any real effort at all washes are great okay and here's a here's some some blow by blow instructions on how to do it look at the sword there it's really cool liquid talent so we've got null oil Slapping on some null oil and slapping on some Agrax Earthshade. I mean, you can see that already that's a pretty decent looking miniature. It's still only got sort of four colours on it, uh, plus a shade. But it's already looking better than something like most most of the things like Hero Clicks and stuff like that. Um, you, you know, you're already looking at, at something of, of a, a better quality than that. Which is great if you're new to the hobby and you're just following through these steps and you suddenly produce something which which looks like that with, you know, very, with not a huge amount of effort. You're going to be, you're going to be quite chuffed. You're going to be quite chuffed at, with what you've achieved. I think that's, that's one of the good things about this, this magazine. It really, by, by layering it on week by week, you're really seeing how... how the skills come together to create those at uh, those end results and um i think you get people are going to be quite quite chuffed with what they've they've managed to achieve and then we've got a tutorial mission tactical retreat um obviously they've got no new miniatures or anything in this issue so they're they're kind of just reiterating stuff i guess sometimes you will want your units to avoid close combat it's a rules update yeah so they're, they're just this is a lot of just recycled gubbins really um, and then, yeah, we've got instructions on falling back. Secure the gene seed. Uh, the gene seed container is represented by an objective marker. So there's a little scenario to play out. So we've got Lieutenant Calcius with three Reavers fighting against six Poxwalkers, four Plague Marines, and one Plague Champion. Wow. Wow. Claim the gene seed and move it back to one of your deployment markers. Cool. So there we go. So a nice little mission to play through. Um, some extra rules on plasma guns and inexorable advances. Codex discipline. 
All Ultramarines units can still shoot in a turn in which they fall back. If they do so, they hit on a 4 plus rather than a 3 plus for that shooting phase. Right, and there we go. That's the end of the magazine. So, not the most exciting issue. Um, but really, um, for, for the painting side of things, it's this is kind of like the turning point where if you've been going week by week, you're probably still looking at your miniatures thinking, well, they don't look finished. They don't look like they do in, in you know, other people's armies and things like that. And then you apply these washes and suddenly you just go, ah, and I think that's a very cool thing. So this is not the most exciting issue in terms of what you get on the cover. It's not the most exciting issue in terms of the content, but I think it is... Um, for people who are new and they're, they're following the painting tutorials, this will be an exciting issue because they're suddenly going to have something which feels like a, like a finished, properly painted miniature, and that's going to be a, a big thing. That's going to be the point where where if the if the bug's going to bite, it's going to bite round about here. Let's have a quick look at the back for some spoilers for what we're going to come up with next. Next issue: the Primaris Librarian. This is massive this is why the last two issues have not been great in terms of value because that primaris librarian sells on games workshops website or in games workshop stores for 22 pounds 50. he is coming on the cover of a 7.99 magazine that is massive that's a huge saving very exciting um so we've had two two issues with slightly ropey um value this issue is going to be absolutely excellent. I wonder if the next issue after that is going to be good value too. Ah, bugger. See you next episode, everybody. Bye-bye.